Hi students, this is Mahesh, Chemistry Faculty, Ramban for Academy. I hope everyone done very well in the examination. Let's we'll see the what are the questions and what are the answers for they have given in grand mock test. So students will see the question number one. What should be equivalent weight of phosphorus acid? They have given as a phosphorus atomic weight and oxygen atomic weight and hydrogen atomic weight they have given. So first we have to be know here phosphorus acid formula. Phosphorus acid formula is H3PO3, right? So if you calculate the mass of the phosphorus acid, we'll get as 82. We'll get as 82. How we means? So three hydrogens are there, three into one plus phosphorus is there, one phosphorus. One phosphorus we have here, the mass of phosphorus should be the one and Oxygen should be three oxygens we have here, and each oxygen should be the atomic weight is 16. So on simplification, we'll get answer should be 82. Will get. Since we know very well, what are the n factor for H3PO3? So H3PO3 can donate two H plus ions, and it will be form HPO3 minus two. So its n factor should be two. N factor should be two. So what is the equivalent weight formula? Equivalent weight equal to Molecular weight divided by n factor. So molecular weight is how much we have got it here, 82, and divided by n factor should be the 2. So on simplification, we'll get answer should be the 40. So answer should be the C is correct answer. So next, we'll go for question number 2, student. If the uncertainty in position of an electron is 0, uncertainty in position, so then x should be the 0 is tell you. And the uncertainty in momentum del p is of electron is how much they are asking. So since we know Heisenberg uncertainty principle formula is what del x into del p equal to h by 4 pi according to Heisenberg. So del x equal to h by 4 pi del p right. So he is telling us here the position of electron uncertainty position is zero. So we can write here this one another way. Del P equal to H by four pi del X, right? Since we know very well here that X is zero, then denominator value is zero means del P should be the infinity, right? It should be the infinity. So answer should be the D. Next question number three, which, of, which has maximum Magnetic momentum, which has maximum magnetic momentum. Just we have to be calculate here number of unpaired electrons. So Mn plus two will get here three D five, and uh, electronic configuration for iron should be the three D six will come, and titanium plus two state will be get here three D two, and chromium plus two will get has here three D four. So since we know here five unpaired electrons, we have here five unpaired electrons. And here should be the four unpaired of electrons. Here should be the two unpaired of electrons. Here should be the four unpaired of electrons. We have here. So the magnetic momentum mu is directly proportional to the number of unpaired of electrons. Unpaired electrons. So here five unpaired of electrons are dated. So this should be having maximum magnetic momentum. Since we know here five unpaired of electrons, that means 5.8 volt magnetons will get answered. So what is the formula of magnetic momentum root n of n plus 2? Root n of n plus 2 both magnetons. If you apply here n equal to number of unpaired of electrons, you'll get the answer. So, next question number four the density of neon will be highest at. So, since we know according to um, ideal gas equation, D equal to Pm by RP relationship, we have here. So, density is directly proportional to the pressure. Density is directly proportional to the pressure and inversely proportional to the temperature. So that means density will be highest directly. So pressure should be the more and temperature should be the less, right? So let's check here. HTP conditions they have given. HT means zero degree Celsius and pressure should be the one atma is the pressure. One atma is the pressure. And zero degree Celsius and as well as two atma. So here should be zero degree and temperature should be same pressure should be two atma. So among these two cases will be which is more. So pressure has to be more, right? 
So in this B case, pressure is more, temperature is less. And C case, it should be the 270. The temperature is more, pressure should be the one. And D case also, temperature is more, pressure also should be more. So it should be not right. So compulsory, temperature has to be low and pressure has to should be high. So option B is the correct one. Option B is the correct one, students. Next, we can go here, question number five. From the thermodynamic chapter, they have asked here. From the thermodynamics. Question number five. The change in enthalpy minus change in internal energy for the formation of carbon monoxide from its elements, they are asking here. So, formation of the carbon monoxide, how it will be formed? So, carbon solid react with half mole of O2 gas, it gives rise to CO, right? This is the So, since we know well here, del Ng value is how much here? Del Ng equal to Np minus Nr. So, product moles is how much here? One mole is there, product gas mole. And reactant mole is how much is there? Gas space should be the half mole. So, we can take solid state should be, you can take as a unity. It should be the zero we can consider, not unity. It should be considered zero. So, I have taken as only gases here. So, we'll get here plus half. Del Ng should be the plus half. Now, what they're asking here? Del H minus del U relationship they're asking here. Since we know very well, del H equal to del U plus del Ng RT. Okay, so del H equal to, sorry, del H minus del U equal to, del Ng value is plus of into R value we have given 8.314, 8.314 Joule Kelvin inverse, mole inverse, and temperature they have given as a here, 290 temperature. So, and simplification answer you will get here, option C will get answer. So, it should be the positive, right? It should be the positive value. So, answer C will get. So next question number six student for the following three reactions one comma two comma three equilibrium constants are given so equation number one co plus h2o you say to co2 plus h2o and equation number two they have given an equation number three since we know let's check here equation number one and as well as equation number two should add we'll get as equation number three equation number two and equation number One and two should add, we'll get as equation number three. So let's check here how to do this means here. CO is there, CO is there, opposite side, CO C will be get cancelled in the LHS side. CH4 have taken and two moles of water, two moles of water balanced. And here CO is there, CO2, and here H2 and 3H2, so 4H2. So equation number one plus equation number two will go equal to equation number three, we got it here. Then equation number three is what here? It's a K3, right? The reactions are addition means it equilibrium constants are on multiples. On multiples. So K1 and to K2. So K3 equal to K1 into K2 with the relationship we have here. So option C is the correct one. K3 is equal to K1 into K2. Okay. Next question number seven, we can go here. Which of the following is biodegradable polymer? Right question, students. It's in CRT book. So, biodegradable polymers we have here PHBV and nylon 2, 6 are the biodegradable polymers. Let's check where it is that Bacalite is not biodegradable, PVC is not biodegradable, PMMEI is not biodegradable, PHBV is the correct answer. Option D is the correct one. Next question number 8. Which type of defect has presence of cation? Interstitial cells. Since we know very well interstitial cells, where will be cation interstitial cells? Will be, where will be created? In Schottky defect is a vacancy defect. Schottky defect is a vacancy defect. Nothing but cations and as well as ions are missing, but he's telling as interstitial. So, Frankel defect we have here. Frankel defect is a interstitial defect. Interstitial defect. So, this is direct question, students. Let's check as a where it is there. Frankel defect option B is the correct one. Option B is the correct one for that question number eight. Question number eight B is the correct. And question number nine. To get n type semiconductor, to get insert n type semiconductor, the impurity to be added to the silicon. For the silicon, we have to be add the impurity. Should have, should have which of the following valence number of electrons to get negative. N means negative, right? 
for that we have to be add 15th group elements 15th group elements so for 15th group elements valency electrons are how many five is the valency electrons five is the valency electrons so answer should be the d so suppose if you are getting as a p type means we have to be add here 13th group 13th group we have to get for p type so valency electrons are three we can get. so but they are asking here n type so answer should be five so question number 10 from this solution chapter if alpha is degree of dissolution of na2so4 the van half factor phi i used for calculation of molecular mass since we know very well na2so4 is salt it undergoes dissociation into 2 na plus plus so4 minus so after the dissociation how many moles is dissociated after the dissociation it has 3 so n value should be the Three when it is alpha should be the hundred percentage. So we have to be find here. So they are asking here I how much how to calculate I. Since we know alpha equal to I minus one divided by n minus one, right? So substitute here we'll get here. So n value is how much here? Alpha equal to I minus one divided by n is three minus one. So we'll get as a two. So two alpha equal to I minus one. Then one plus two alpha equal to I will get for the dissociation. I factor should be this one one plus two alpha. So answer should be C is the correct one. Okay. So next question number eleven. Which aqueous solution exhibits highest boiling point? Highest boiling point means it should be having the more number of ions. More number of ions has to be generated. The boiling point of solution is directly proportional to directly proportional to more number of ions here. So let's look at here which has more number of ions. Glucose will have, doesn't produce the any ions. Cane both will produce the two ions, and urea will be doesn't ionize and uh, sodium sulfate will be the ionize into three ions. So which has more here? So option D is the correct one. Send it to SO for having the more number of ions. So next question number twelve: the highest electrical conductivity, electrical conductivity in the aqueous solution. Since we know very well here, electrical conductivity is directly proportional to the number of ions, right? Number of ions. So these are they have given as acid, acid. All those things are acidic acid. They have given. Acidic acid is the weak acid. It's a weak acid. That means here alpha should be the does not equal to hundred percentage does not equal to hundred percent weak acid. So number of ions are less here. So that means which is strong acid that will having the alpha should be more strong acid is directly proportional to the more ionization more ionization. If more ionization means more ions will be produced, more ions, then automatically electrical conductivity also will decrease. More ions. Let's check here. All the cases concentration is same. Zero point one, zero point one, zero point one. Which is strong acid? We have to find here. Acidic acid, chloracetic acid, chloracetic acid, difluoracetic acid. Difluoracetic acid is the more acidic nature because two withdrawing groups we have here. Two withdrawing groups. So these withdrawing groups will be makes more ionizable. So strong acid will act more number of ions will produce. So it will be the having highest electrical conductivity. So option D is the correct one. Option D is the correct one. Next question number thirteen is the diet question from the chemical kinetics. The rate constant for first order and zero order. Since we know first order should be the second inverse and zero order should be the mole later inverse second inverse. That question is. NCERT book. So option A is the correct one. So next, fourteen to one. For reaction one by two A, use ratio two to A. Rate of disappearance of A is related with rate of appearance of B by expression. So how we can write rate of disappearance is one by one by two D A by D T. So it is disappearance, right? So we have to show with the negative charge. That equal to appearance of B plus one by two. Why? Because its coefficient is two, and uh, B B by dt. 
So this we can check here. It is not there. So we can send this one by two here. So minus dA by dt. If you send here one by two means here you will get as a one by four d d by dt. We'll get. So check here which case is the correct one is there. Option B is the correct one we have here. So right question that the uh, average rate. Next question number fifteen. A liquid aerosol, a liquid aerosol of colloidal system. In this name only there, liquid is present in air. Liquid is dispersed in air. Liquid is dispersed in air. Liquid aerosol. So what is the here? This is the dispersed phase. It's a dispersed phase. Air is the dispersed medium. Medium. So answer will be will get as a A. Liquid is dispersed in gas. Correct one. So next question number sixteen. Most common oxygen state of cerium. Cerium will be what will source most common. Let's say a black element and a black we have lanthanides and plus actinides. For lanthanides, since we know what is the stable oxygen uh, common oxygen state is plus three, but cerium will be unstable with plus three, so it will be converted into plus four state. So majorly it will source plus three and as well as plus four. So check the answer should be C is the correct one. Next question number seventeen. Total number of lone pair of electrons in I three minus. How to calculate that? Very easy question, students. I three minus. Since we know, I am taking as a three iodine atoms are there. One iodine taking as a central iodine atom. So iodine is the seventeenth group element, right? So I am taking as a seven dots. Very easy trick. I am telling here. And by this trick, you can find the hybridization also. Three, four, five, six, seven. And say negative charge one dot should take extra seven dots. Eight dots I have taken. So two iodines we have here attached. So how many lone pairs we have for the central atom? Three lone pairs are there in the central atom. Three lone pairs. Okay. Since we know these are the side attached, each and every iodine will having the three lone pairs are there. So the shape is what shape means? It's a linear shape will come. Linear shape. So iodine I and as well as I. So this will having the three lone pairs here. Negative charge and here should be the like this will come. So count here total number of lone pair of electrons means here three and here should be three. Here should be three. Total nine lone pair of electrons we have here. So option B is the correct one. Since uh, next we can go here the question number eighteen. Float rotation process. Cloth rotation process based on wetting properties of the ore, right? Wetting properties. Since we know specific gravity of ores will be separated by based on the gravity, and magnetic properties will be separated by based on the magnetic nature. Wetting properties means based on the wettable property. Cloth rotation property will be box here. So option C is the correct. Next question number nineteen. Which of the following elements? Can involve the P phi D phi bonding. P phi D phi has to be formed. First of all, it has to should be D orbital has to be present, right? Since we know there will carbon lack of D orbital, same nitrogen for also lack of D orbital, and even for boron also should there lack of D orbital. These three elements will does not having D orbital, then it does not form the P phi D phi bonding. So if you go for phosphorus, it can form P phi D phi bonding. It can form P phi D phi bonding. So one of the best example you can take phosphoric acid. Okay, so it can form. So why? Because it has presence of D orbital. It's a three D orbital is there. Three D. So answer C is the correct one. So next question number twenty. In the preparation of compound Xc, the borlet had taken O two plus Fe six. It's a red color compound. They have formed and base as a base compound. This is because what? So how they have formed means uh, genome compounds. So genon ionization enthalpy is one one seven zero kilojoules is required. At the same case, molecular oxygen also required one one seven three kilojoules. So he is these uh, oxygen and as well as genon both will having the nearby equal of ionization energies. So that's why he ha he has found many number of genon compounds. That is a major reason. So check option A is both oxygen and genon have same size. No. Option B, O2 and genon has same electron gain enthalpy. Not. 
and option C both O2 and xenon having almost same ionization enthalpy. So this is 1170 kilojoules and this is 1173 kilojoules. So that's why they have found as a xenon compounds recently. So Borlet has found xenon compounds. Okay, option C look at. So next question number 21. Highest oxidation state of manganese fluoride is MnF4 and but highest oxidation state of oxides is Mn2O7 because this is reason is what means the covalent compounds of fluorine can form only single bond. A fluorine uh, covalent compounds can form only single bonds. But with the oxygen, it can form double bonds also. But oxygen can form double bonds also. That is the reason why fluorine should be with respect to fluorine, it should be the plus four should be the stable, and with respect to oxygen, it should be plus and also stable. So that is the reason. Option D is the correct. Next question number twenty-one. Is got over twenty-two. When acidify K two Cl two O seven solution is added to SN plus two salt, then SN plus two changes. Since we know K two Cl two O seven is a strong oxidizing agent, and SN plus two state acting as a Reducing agent. So reducing agent means what? It undergoes oxidation. It will undergo obviously. Why? Because SN plus two state is unstable. So immediately it will undergo oxidation by losing of two electrons convert into stable form. So this is oxidizing agent. This is acting as a reducing agent. So it undergoes oxidation by losing of two electrons. SN plus two is converted into plus four. So this is the answer. SN plus four is correct. Why means SN plus two is unstable. SN plus four is stable. Next question number twenty three. When one mole of chromium Cl three dot six H two treated with AgNO three, three moles of AgCl is formed. So suppose Cr Cl three dot six H two O one mole is they have treated with excess of AgNO three. AgNO three is excess. Then how many moles of AgCl is formed? Three moles of AgCl is formed. Then formula of the complex. They are asking formula of the complex. Three moles of AgCl is formed means sir, three chlorines are present in the ionization sphere, right? Three chlorines are present in the ionization sphere. Then only it is possible. Then here should be the chromium in the coordination sphere and H two O taken six times. This is the complex form. This only it is possible. If the chlorines are not there in the ionization sphere, three chlorines are not there in the ionization sphere. There is no formation of three moles of AgCl. So that's why this is the correct representation you can do. So answer should be D is the correct one. D is the correct one. Next question number twenty-five students. Sorry, twenty-four. Match the complexes in column one, column two. Possible isomerism. And they're asking here. Since we know it will show cis and trans isomerism, right? M A four B two it will show as a cis and trans isomerism means we can tell as a geometric isomerism, and it should be the M A A two B two type. So this cis complex will be the optically active, so optical isomerism it will show. And here should be the ions will be exchanged here N O two and as well as C L two, so it can show as the ionization isomerism, and this complex will be the coordination isomerism. Coordination isomerism. So check here. Option should be the D, the correct. Question number twenty-five. Toluene react with Toluene react with halogen in presence of iron chloride, giving argon para halo compounds. The reaction is so in presence of iron plus three state chloride. So take here FeCl three in presence of halogen. So I'm taking as a halogen should be the any halogen, and it will give argon para halo compounds. The reaction is they're asking here. This is the toluene. So what will happen here will be the FeCl3 react with halogen. It will use FeCl 
थ्री एक्स माइनस प्लस एक्स प्लस विल बी क्रिएटेड नथिंग बट इट विल प्रोड्यूज द इलेक्ट्रोफाइल इट विल प्रोड्यूस The electrophilic substitution reaction is taking place at argon para position whenever the donating group is there. Here, CH3 is donating. So, what reaction we can tell here? It's an electrophilic substitution reaction. Option B is the correct. Next question number twenty-six. The thermoplastic polymer among the following. Direct statement from the NCERT. This answer should be the polystyrene. And question number twenty-seven. What is the correct order of reactivity of alcohols for the following? So for HCl and HCl, they don't share two. So it's a SN one reaction. We can tell. So alcohols will, here will be SN one reaction. So since we can see here, it's we can tell here SN one reaction, which is the greater tertiary than secondary and as well as primary. Same for the alcohols also. Tertiary alcohol halide and so tertiary alcohol, secondary alcohols and primary alcohols. This is the reactivity order towards HCl and HCl. They don't share two. So option C is the correct one. Option C is the correct. Let's we'll go for question number twenty-eight. Arrange the arrange the following compounds in increasing of boiling point. They have given as a propane one mole, propane one mole, CH two O, CH two O H, propane one mole. This is the first one, and next one is the butane all butane one mole, butane one mole. And the third one is butane two mol, butane two mol, butane two mol. Fourth one is pentanol. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pentanol. So since we know very well molecular mass increase means boiling point also will be increased. So which case is more molecular mass? Pentanol should be the more molecular mass. So obviously four should be the greater. Then should be the here should be the both will having the same molecular mass second and third, but which having the more surface area. The surface area is more in one butanol when compared to two butanol. So that's why two should be the greater than three than one. So this is the correct one sequence we can go here. So option A you can check propanol, butanol, butanol, butan two all and butan one all and pentan one all. So option A is the correct one. Question number twenty nine. In Clemens and reduction, carbonyl compounds should be. Let question a very famous name of reaction. Zinc compound and displays concentrated HCl. So option A is the correct. And question number thirty. Predict the products formed when cyclohexane cyclohexane carbaldehyde react with semi carbonyl. Cyclohexane carbaldehyde. The formula is this one. Cyclohexane carboxyl treated with semi-carboxyl. Semi-carboxyl formula is what? NH2 NH C double bond with NH. This is the semi-carboxyl. In presence of acetic acid, what is the product they are asking? Since we know very well here, it will undergo condensation reaction, right? So I am removing the water molecule from the amine group to hydrogen, and as well as carbonyl group should be the oxygen. I am removing, so we will get this in the product. Semi carboxyl will get. Semi carboxyl becomes semi carboxyl. So you may have doubt here. Why can't these hydrogens will be not involved in the condensation reaction? The reason is what means here. These nitrogen lone pairs are involved in resonance. So this nitrogen will be not will be attack. There is no possibility to attack with this carbonyl carbon. Nucleophilic acid is not possible for with respect to this nitrogen. If you come for these nitrogen lone pairs are not involved in resonance, so it is directly it can attack to this carbonyl group, so it will undergo its elimination reaction. Okay, so you will get the answer. You can find here where is the option A is the correct one. Option A we can find it. Yeah, question number thirty-one. The reagent which does not react with acetone and as well as benzoyl here, acetone and as well as benzoyl here, sodium hydrogen sulfide will react with both, right? Will react, so it will be not. 
and phenyl hydroxyl will react with aldehydes and lesbyl ketones and failing solution since we know failing solution doesn't gives the ketones right ketones should be the negative test with failing solution and it is aromatic aldehyde aromatic aldehyde doesn't gives the positive test with failing solution so it will gives negative obviously it will gives negative so it will does not react with both the things acetone and lesbyl aldehyde so option should be the c Grignard reagent react with aldehyde and lesbyl ketones both. So he is asking what does not react with uh, both acetone and lesbyl benzaldehyde, and answer should be the C is the correct one. So question number thirty-two. The correct decreasing order of basic strength of following H two O and H three O H minus and H two. Since I am writing here N H three and H two O, I am going here. So since we know very well, left to right acidic nature increases, right? Acidic nature increases, so that means NH3 is weak acid. NH3 is weak acid. NH3 is weak acid. It will use NH2 minus its conjugate base. Its conjugate base. Conjugate base means it's a weak acid. Conjugate base is strong acid. Strong acid, and since we know H2O is a Strong acid when compared to the NH3, it will use OH minus ion. Its conjugate base is weak. Conjugate base is weak base. We can say compared to NH2 minus. So since NH2 minus is greater than OH minus, we have to see. Then NH3 and H2 if you take means NH3 is the more basic nature because weak acid that one and H2 should be the lighter. So answer should be the E is the correct one. Next question number thirty-three. Proteins are found to be how? Proteins are found to be how? Two different types of secondary structures, like alpha helix and as well as beta helix cells. And alpha helix structures of proteins are stabilized by hydrogen bonds. It will having the hydrogen bond, right? Intramolecular hydrogen bonding is present there in the alpha helix. Question C is the correct. Next question number thirty-four. Which of the following polymers glucose is stored in animals? Glucose is a carbohydrate, right? So in animals, carbohydrates are stored in the form of glycogen, right? Glycogen. Starch is nothing but in plants. In plants, the carbohydrates stored in the form of starch. But they are asking here animals. Animals means glycogen. The right question is there in biology from very easy question, but. Question number thirty-five. Name sweetening agent used in sweets for diabetic patients. Here, all those things are are sweetening agents only. All those things are sweetening agents. But which is they majorly they will prefer means they will majorly they will prefer the saccharin. Why? Because more sweetening will be present, more sweetness. And next will be the. Question number thirty-six. Which of the following is anionic detergent? Anionic detergent is nothing but what? Sodium salts of lauryl sulfate is the anionic detergent. Bad question. And cetyl ammonium should cetyl ammonium chloride bromide should be the it is cationic detergent. Glycerol oleate should be the non-ionic detergent. Non-ionic. And sodium stearate is a soap. It's not a detergent. So answer should be the A is the correct. Next uh, question number thirty-seven. Which of the following statement is not true about low-density polyethylene? Low-density polyethylene is tough, but it should be flexible. It should be the flexible. So, but he given as a hard. It is a not correct, and it will show poor conductor of electricity and as well as highly branched structure this one. But it should be the not hard. It should be the flexible. So option B is the wrong one. So question number thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Mark the correct order of decreasing acidic strength of the following. So since we see this is alcohol and also phenol and it should be the alcohol and should be the phenol and phenol group we can say. Since directly proportional to the acidic nature of phenol, directly proportional to the minus I and as plus minus M groups, minus I and as plus minus M, inversely proportional to the plus M and as plus plus I group. 
this is what acidic nature of phenols so we'll check here which cases with trine groups are there more acidic nature and no2 group is more acidic nature here why because minus n plus minus n and at meta position isomeric effect will doesn't works here inductive effect only works so these two will have the highest so among these two which case is more here para position should be the more so two should be greater than four we have it two should be greater than four now compare here in this case it should be the and fifth place this donating group plus m group is there and here also should be the here plus m group is there but it is not phenolic it is alcoholic right it should be the alcoholic and here should be the there is no donating group there is no with rank group and compare with one and as less fifth structure here should be the less acidic nature due to plus m group is there here then obviously first one should be the greater acidic nature then later should be the then later should be the third one will become here alcohol and here should be the phenolic will come so option should be the b is the correct question number 39 the reaction of toluene with chlorine in presence of iron in absence of light same question we have explained students reaction of chlorine in presence of iron same question toluene treat with electrophilic substitution reaction right toluene treat with fecl3 in presence of cl2 it will produce the cl2 electrophile it will use ordone as less para product ordone as less para product ch3cl ordo chloro toluene and as less para chloro toluene electrophilic substitution reaction so answer should be the d is the correct one so both are there option b and c b and c so option d is the correct question number 40 question number 40 an example an example of sigma bonded organo metallic compound rhinocene is a pi bonded and as well as pi acceptor grignard reagent is r m g x it's a sigma bond right so right question is sigma this is ferrocene also is with a pi bond will be present and covalent also should be the pi bond so option b is the correct one student next question number 41 a brown ring is formed when test is for no3 nitrate ion it is due to formation of brown ring complex the brown ring complex formula is what yeah ph2o taken five times no nitrosyl and plus two state this will be formation is taking place in nitrate ion okay so option a is the correct one. option a is the correct one. that is brown ring complex also we can call students and 42 question number 42 which of the following is xenon fluoride cell does not exist xcf3 is possible xcf4 possible xcf6 possible but xcf3 is not possible not possible so option b is the correct and next question number 43 electrolytic refining is used to purify which of the following metals electrolytic refining they are using for copper and as well as zinc copper and as well as zinc since we know that uh, how to do that uh, halls herald's method is there na? and that copper they use okay same case we can go for zinc also next question number 44 consider the first order gas phase decomposition reaction gas phase they have given and initial concentration oh is this question so this is the diet question students the formula we know for gas space in crt question only so for the first order for gas space 2.303 by t log p initial divided by 2pi minus pk this is the final concentration so this is for gas space we are using so answer should be where it is there option c is the correct one so not option c student it's given as a plus t right we need minus t so option b is the correct one this is the one option b next 45 among the following minimum boiling point among the following minimum boiling point which has usually top to bottom it should be the boiling point should be increased so since we'll feel as a hf should be the least but HF should be having the highest when compared to HCl and as well as HBr. The reason is what means it will show the hydrogen bonding. It will show the hydrogen bonding. 
so then obviously the highest boiling point will come for hi the least will come for hcl least will come for hcl next uh, question number 46 the van der have factor for 0.1 molar of banao3 solution is 2.84 the degree of dissociation so we know very well banao3 barium nitrite will be dissociated into barium plus 2 plus 2 no3 minus and it will generate so n should be number of ions should be 3 after the dissociation right so this is dissociation alpha equal to what is the formula alpha equal to i minus 1 by n minus 1 here so alpha value we have to find here i value how much they have been i value van der have factor they have been 2.74 2.74 minus 1 divided by n value should be the 3 minus 1 will get as a 1.74 divided by 2 and simple equation will get answer should be the 0.87. So we need percentage they are asking and multiplied with 0.87 into 100 will get as a 87 percentage is the answer. Okay, so same method we have done uh, already came the question also for that is Na2 SO3, Na2 SO4. Next question number forty-seven. Oh, these things from the solution chapter. That questions they have asking here. The formulas, that formulas. Rowlatt's law is nothing but this is the formula. P total equal to P naught A plus sorry P A plus P B. Right. That we can write X A into P naught A and X two into P naught B. Rowlatt's law. Henry's law is partial pressure is directly partial. Uh, partial pressure of the gas is directly proportional to mole fraction of the solution this is that one elevation boiling point del tv and freezing point del t f equal to kfm and osmotic pressure is phi equal to crt so option a is the correct one right formula only they have asked for very easiest question and next question number 48 the number of tetrahedral voids in the phase center since we know in fcc number of ions j should be the four number of atoms j should be the four that means this equal to we can tell as n since we know number of octahedral voids octahedral voids are n and number of tetrahedral voids will be generated should be the two n so n value should be the four so four number of octahedral will be formed and two into four will get as eight number of tetrahedral voids will be formed Eight number of tetrahedral voids. This is the formula. So answer should be the B is the correct. Name question number fourteen is which of the following changes with increasing temperature? So concentration then they have given the temperature dependent is with respect to value. So value means depends on temperature. Value depends on temperature, right? Why? Because if temperature increases, means value will be changes. So then automatically. It will change. Molality, it is weight relationship, no change, and weight fraction of the solution, no change. Fraction of solute present in water. Water means it should be the liquid, right? So we can consider as a volume. So it will depends. So it will be change with respect to the temperature. So option C is the correct. Mole fraction will be different changes. And question number fifty: the radius of the second bore orbit of hydrogen atom. Second bore orbit of hydrogen atom. So second bore orbit n equal to how much two, and z for hydrogen should be the one, and radius formula r n equal to zero point five two nine into n square by z. This is the formula n square by z. Since we know very well, we need for here two right radius right r two equal to zero point five two nine into n value should be the Two square divided by j should be the one. So on simplification, we'll get the answer. Student here, we'll check what are the options are there. On simplification, we'll get answer should be the D. Two point one two will get. On simplification, we'll get two point one two. Okay, students. Thank you for watching the video. I hope everyone got the answers. and feel free to ask if you have any doubts and which have the questions doubts please uh, mention it in comment box thank you thank you for watching the video